get a little wet, but that's okay. No, I'm just making sure.
trench we dug. We're about an inch in the water, an inch out, so in the four foot, I imagine that's about two inch. See the cells are filling with black sand, even to the back. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy out of here and just see how much black sands we have. We check to, that they're light and fluffy and not too coarse. See if we need to adjust the speed or the pitch or anything in a little bit. So here's the what we got out of that little bit we did. You can kind of see our gold, hopefully. I haven't really cleaned it up. There's more in there, some lead. We actually had a piece of wire stainless from someone's brush that we collected. We got some really fine sand, but the sand is not super, super fluffy. The sand, as you can see, is still coarse. You see it roll off in little specks. So that's telling me that I need to turn the throttle. We're up all the way. We're totally throttled up. I don't see a line of super fine powder. Um, I'm not even getting no gold really floating right now a little bit coming off So it's telling me that I need to throttle it down a little bit to get that uber flat super dusty sand And I'll start getting that micro gold. So we're running a little fast We're gonna probably we'll probably drop it just a little bit so we can just barely see a little bit less flow And um, uh, we'll see if we can pick up more of that finer gold
started getting the clay, you can see it's getting that kind of slimy clay look where everything's kind of got clay, but like you can see, I'll dig into this cell. And there's actually a piece of gold right there in that cell. <laughs> what a lucky pick in the black sand underneath it. So that's cool. And might not be able to see it, but right up on the leading edge there, coming into that cell, the gold, right up past the word T to the left, those two big flakes of gold coming into the cell. That's what's underneath the, this is what we kind of got underneath the here. We just got some layer expanded metal, no moss underneath it, just on a, a clamp. And to kind of stop, you know, stuff from moving, slow it down, and then let it go through the mat. And as you can see, we had a flake of gold in that one. Here's our tailing pile. I was going out to where our tailings are. So I'm going to tie the rope. You can see the little black sands in there. At the end of the day, the nozzle got lifted up. We had a water surge out the end. And even when we were cleaning up the last mat, we were flopping it into the bucket and a little bit of it fell out on the ground. So we had an epic last cleanup. So it happens. Anyways, we're going to clean up. Head out, and then I'll we'll do a cleanup later on this week with what we got and fun stuff.
for reclamation. All parked out, raked nice and smooth. A couple actually holes on the banks filled with rocks that people were digging too close to the bank. Cool beans. Classified down to eighth inch. We are in the concentrates over uh, a green mat eight inch concentrator mat, but we had to trim it down to make it fit in the keen concentrator. So we pulled the miracle mat out and now we're concentrating through this. So you see those cells just going doing their thing. Yeah buddy. That's what it's all about. So the advantage is processing the material in a circle, holding it upstream rather than rolling it like a pencil downstream. Everything migrates downstream when you roll it like a pencil. So that means all the gold's got to leave the building. It's got to go out the other end. But if you spin it in a circle, actually upstream away from the current, it, it kind of get, gets stuck there. You see the gold shining in there underneath the that one cell. That's pretty cool. On our second pan. So we got basically on an eighth inch cream, we got about two pans. Just looking for a steeper. Little beans. Yeah, that might be gold is over there. I don't know. We'll see. Just turn it off. Take a look at what the... Uh, no, it's just rocks. No, there's some gold. Yeah, right. Look at the gold. So there's our gold. Now I brought my Miller table, so we'll run this stuff over the Miller table. Won't take long to clean up, and then we'll see what kind of sparklies we get. Awesome! Possum. Yeah, yeah, cool stuff. So, we're, uh, here's the cleanup from our little dredge trip. Not much, but better than nothing. Considering that the last mat that we dredged for about three hours on, I blew out the sluice and we spilled some in the creek. So, you know, not bad. You know, we had fun. Um, uh, anyways. There it is. Cool beans. There's our there's our gold. <laughs>